YouTube, what is up everybody, this is your own boy Slippin' Donna 4, I am a fitness trainer and coach, as I said in an in introduction video, um, we're doing a pre-workout right now, I am pretty hyped up right now, as, as you can see, um, but, What we're going to be going over is getting, getting into your forward stance, have hands by your hip, and we're going to do double punch from Dojo right up to your right. Again, swing, six, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. Now, this is how a boxer would use that technique uh, from Gojo Ryu Karate. Um, how a boxer would do it, he would utilize he would utilize a jab cross and then the jab then the double punch from goes your right so if you look at that similar to Goji Rider strategy, well, it's just the same thing. Um, basically, it's just you utilizing, you know, in Goji Rider, you know, you can do sh sh reverse punches, you know. That's how you set up, set up your Koju Ryu attack on uh, the double punch. <laughs> when one use that technique as a strategy, if you can't get no other hit in on your opponent. Now, the boxing side is what I showed you is that it would <coughs> do. The jab, jab cross, jab cross, jab, and then the double punch. So it'll be ten times on each side. So You can use any combination and you don't have to do what I'm doing. Five. 
six. Seven. The other one is going to be because you're right, you're right, you're crying method. Um, it's going to be more for the crane attack. But um, it's using good you're right, you're right. Because um, uh, I'm noticing Kokai Danielson kind of uses this technique a little bit, not a whole lot, but he does use the crane method a little bit. Because um, that's what me all he was trying to go as and um Kokai and um and the karate case for Chucky. So uh so this is more of like an advanced advanced technique. Um I've used it several times in an actual fight and it does work um if you know where to apply it at on a person. But it's more advanced. So it's like if somebody's attacking you and you know where to hit it, all you do is kind of like flipping ring a jab and bossing. But except it's more of like um, doing the crane, the crane speak. Just basically just doing that. You know, kind of like flipping up toward, up toward the chin. It's kind of like giving it an upside down slap. So, when it's kind of like a jab, it would be the jab like in Boston, and then, same concept. Again, a jab in Boston. Remember on how you can do it with your hand with the crane? More like to, to, to the crane speak, strike, it'd be more like, to the chin. There's two. I'm going to do ten on each side. Um, that's just what I'm trying to show you on what it's similar like compared to boxing in a way. Because karate and boxing is similar the same way, same system. 
The only thing you can't use in boxing is the back fist, elbows, knees, kicking. Um, you can only use punching. But back in the old days, you know, in the old traditional boxing methods, you know, they would use dirty tactics in the ring. So back then, in old school boxing, they would utilize different stuff from the Chinese martial arts and convert it into their own training. So, um, here, here's number three. Four, five, six, seven, Now you can use this method as an attack way to as a parry block attack. Um, it'd be more like this. Like if somebody's throwing a punch at you, what you can do is cram bake them to the side of the face and then punch them toward the chest. So Again, heavy. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, the train bait can be used as if somebody's like going in for a grab and train maneuvers. It's the double outside parry. Then we can slap to the ears. Knife fan to the neck. Palm strike to the face. Palm strike to the face. So here we go again. We're gonna go the train method. Slap. Palm strike. Palm strike. Knife hand to the throat. Palm straight, palm straight. 
three. Seven. There you have it, green. Good you ride. Double punch. Person to bossing. Um, there you have it. Uh, just a little three comparisons to different strategies, different ways utilizing it into your own knowledge, into your own training method. Um, I guess you could say it's more of the system I study now. Um, I guess it's kind of more evolving toward um, the Kempel way um, to my martial arts training. Um, because I'm more of like, like, more of like animal style based um, techniques. Um, but, they are more well uh, rounded when it comes to when you want to fight dirty, when you want to um, use it for survival, you know, because in the wild animals out in the forest, you know, their instincts, you know, their killer instincts, they end up going in for the attack and then they end up finishing their prey off. So when, when you're training, you know, for self-defense, you know, that's how you need to look at it. You know, you're doing it for survival, learning different ways of how to utilizing your technique, utilizing your strategy, and um, to make yourself a better martial artist, because if you, if you try to utilize three different systems, three different ways of doing it, 
and combine them together, trying to figure out, okay, how can I use this strategy into this trade? Or if I need to use this into this trade? You know, it's always, that's the reason why I like shadow boxing, like what I was doing here. It's because you can make up different techniques, you can make up different ways to train. And, you know, it don't have to just be this rather punches all the time. Or, you know, for doing kickboxing, you know, you want to just be kicks and punches, elbows, and, you know, knees and stuff like that. Because a lot of people, that's all they ever want to fight with is Muay Thai or just boxing. And so, for me, it's like, I do a little bit of the Chinese martial arts as well, but not a lot. So, Usually, Chinese martial arts, they tend to see you to go by the animal, the animal system, like the crane, the snake. Like the mantis, and the eagle. The tiger. And the right. But and the snake. And uh, the monkey butt. Um, but monkey is more of like. Monkey's more like low, well, more like low stance agility, more, more low stance agility drills, hopping around and stuff, more acrobatic stuff. That's what monkey style is, um, pretty much. And then, um, that's pretty much it, other than if you want to like. Get into like drunken or uh, Tai Chi. You know, those are Chinese 
systems, basically, um, that I know of. Um, just a little bit just by messing around um, on what they're, what they are, my own ideas of what I read out books and um, what they're capable of, what they're for, how they, and how they do it and everything. But as like I said, it's just that the video I want to do is about the two techniques, you know, the double punch from Goju Ryu and the the crane, the crane strike to the chin. Um, Kind of like utilizing it as a, as a jab. So, basically, you know, you can use any technique from any different martial arts. You know, you don't have to, you know, be a master to be a genius at what each style can is comparison to. You know, if it helps, you know, if you don't want to study that system, well, it, you know, if you don't like where it, come from, where it comes from, what country it comes from, well, it doesn't matter what country it comes from. It doesn't matter what system you study. You know, any martial art can fit in with any style. As long as you just know how to utilize it into each system. So, just be creative. Do your own research and train hard, train smart. It's train smart, not smart. I don't know why I said smart, but train smart, not March. But sorry, um, I'm a little messed up there. But yeah, it's just um, so that's it. Just train hard, train smart. Do your research and read up books. Um, that's how I get my knowledge and um, watch videos. Uh, Learn on YouTube, you know, there's all kinds of videos out there you can learn off of. If you're not, if you can't find the book what you're looking for, you know, you can always search on YouTube, say, hey, how do you do this? Usually 9 out of 10, they'll show you how it's done. So, there you have it. Hit the like, subscribe. If you don't know me, I'm Simon Don Four, coach, fitness trainer, and martial artist. And as you can tell, I am a black belt certified instructor. Um, certificate and everything. Um, under Grandmaster, um, Master H. Lee D. Sa Ho Nim. Sorry if I mispronounced his name wrong in Korea. And uh, my American instructor, uh, Robert B. Howard. Instructor, Board of Examiners, and he, he was my main instructor in Taekwondo. And which there was a guy that he was training there, taught me corrupt karate way into that system. So, there you have it, folks. Uh, a little background on what I just told you about my system is basically on what my secret taught me, you know, utilize what. You know what you can do with your hands and your feet you know into combat because you know use your a martial artist you need to train every part of your body not just one part not one area you know if you're a martial artist um you gotta train every part of your body so there you have it, folks uh signing off and i'll see you in the next video peace